The first app in the list is this beautiful touch-based live wallpaper that creates this smoky, fluid splashes of color. It's super high quality, really responsive, and it looks almost unreal. The app is called Fluid Simulation and it's available on the Play Store for free. The link will be in the description below. Now, once you open the app, hit that tiny white circle and you'll get a lot of these physics-based parameters that you can change. You also get to choose your own color spectrum. So there's like a bunch of palettes that you can choose from and change the color schemes. Once you're all set, hit set wallpaper and that's it. You can have as much fun with it as you want. Next is called Columns and it's not so much of an app as it really is just a simple tool that allows you to manage your to-dos in a creative board style. So you've got boards or projects here. It could be home stuff, things you want to watch and then each board can have multiple columns. So I've got like five over here, but you can have as many. Now each column has sections and each section can have tasks or to-dos as you can see here. Each task can then be assigned a date, a color, and even upload some files or a link or a note using comments. It's actually a progressive web app and to access it, just go to your Chrome browser and hit columns.app in the URL bar and you can sign up and that's it. Now you can also access this on your computer where it actually makes more sense. You can easily create new boards with new columns and then you can add more sections and add tasks. And also just like Kanban boards, you can move around your columns, you can rearrange your tasks as well. And guys, before we move on, it would mean so much to me if you could hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon and select all. It really helps me sustain the channel and grow it even more. All right, now let's move on. The next app is called Typewise. It's a really interesting keyboard which has been around for a while, but they've updated it with some features and made it even better. Firstly, the word prediction is very accurate. It allows you to just select words to construct sentences without actually typing them. And now coming to gestures. You can delete or undo delete by simply swiping left or right over the keyboard. To use different kinds of symbols that are available on a single key, you can either tap on it once, swipe up on it, long press on it, or long press and swipe up. Swiping up on the numbers key activates the emoji keyboard. In the pro version, you also get to abbreviate long text. For example, my ad and hit space and my address gets populated. Now there's also a traditional layout that you can use and still access all the features and swipe gestures, but the hexagonal layout does give you larger keys, just takes a little bit more time to get used to. And by the way, the app does not require any special permission, so it does not record your data and it's completely private. Next app is called Remote Mouse and it converts your phone's screen into a touchpad or a mouse and you can use it on your laptop, your MacBook or your desktop. And you can perform all functions that you would on a trackpad like scrolling or zooming in and zooming out and it's quiet responsive. In fact, it can work like an air mouse, just like it happens with TV remotes. So just hover your phone and the mouse pointer will move on the screen and you can do all the other functions. So the app is called Remote Mouse, which you have to install on your phone. And then you have to install the app on your computer as well. So depending on whether you use a Mac machine or a Windows based computer, just download the relevant app and install it. And once you're done, just make sure that your phone and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi network for this to work. And once the app is installed on the computer, it would show up on your phone's app and just tap on it and you're all set. All right, next one. Just one tap on this widget on my home screen and I can connect to my LG soundbar or one tap on this widget and I can connect to my Alexa for speaker output. So I've set up Bluetooth widgets on my home screen for devices I connect to pretty often. I don't have to go into Bluetooth settings, look at the list of paired devices, and then tap on one of these to connect. And this instant connection to Bluetooth devices can be done using the Bluetooth widgets app. Link in the description below, so go ahead and check it out. Now you can create widgets for devices that you're already paired to. All you have to do is long press on the home screen, look for Bluetooth audio widget, drag it outside, and then you can choose which device you want to activate that for. So for this purpose, let me use my car, hit that blue icon, then I have to resize the widget so it looks kind of better. And that's it, you're done. Next app is called Mubird. And this has been my choice of app for background music to help me focus when I'm working or working out or just want to calm down. Surprisingly, it has worked out wonderfully for me. The tracks are actually generated using AI. So every track is like new or unheard of. And there's plenty of flavor to choose from, even in the free version. So depending on your mood, music taste and activities, you can choose what you really want to listen to. And there's so many choices available.
And if you really like it, you can get the premium version that does offer a lot more. All I can say is that listening to tracks on Mubert has really increased my focus, boosted performance, and it's just so non-distracting. And hey, if you've got a pair of noise cancelling earphones or headphones lying around, this thing is a pure bliss. And that's it guys, those were the apps for the month of May 2021. Got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.